This is a special A-S-L-E-L-S challenge for you, Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll give 750000 to whatever charitable organization you want to. F*** the bucket. All right, man. What is that? Oh, that's the other one. This ain't mine. Oh, oh yes, it is. <laughs> but why did 50 and Floyd start beefing with each other when they used to be such good friends? For starters, we'll take a look at the timeline of their friendship, and then we will break down the main points of the beef they have with each other. One of the first appearances of these two together took place in 2007 when Floyd fought Oscar De La Hoya. 50 Cent was right by his boxer friend and performed his song titled Straight to the Bank. To be immodest about, but give him credit. Way back when he was fighting. In 2009, in the midst of his beef with Rick Ross, 50 Cent invited Ross's baby mother Tia and their son on a trip to Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s house. This move was made with the intent to embarrass and disrespect the MMG boss. Briefly speaking, they had a strong friendship, but this all lasted until 2012. In June, Floyd Mayweather served two months of a three-month sentence in a misdemeanor domestic battery case, during which time 50 Cent was tasked with establishing Mayweather's promotions company, The Money Team. While Mayweather was locked up, 50 got to work signing several boxers to the company. Generally speaking, while Floyd was in prison, 50 Cent was actively worked on promoting the company and pouring large sums into it. Upon getting out of prison, the relationship between the stars got worse and worse by the day. This became clear in September when 50 Cent went on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. There, he said they hadn't seen each other recently and that, in general, he wasn't too happy with Floyd's behavior. Everybody around him is waiting on the time he feels generous, the G-Unit general said of his friend and business partner. And I have a lot, so I don't wait for nobody. It's just a space and time. I'll go and do what I have to do. I don't gotta sit around and wait for the next time he feels like giving somebody something. Further evidence that 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s friendship was on the fritz came in September 2012, when Fifth announced he had teamed up with Floyd's rival, Manny Pacquiao, to start a boxing promotion company. Pointing to Floyd's lack of urgency as one of the reasons behind his decision, Fifth also noted that he and Mayweather had already discussed the matter and that he felt the boxer would wish him luck on his new endeavor. TMT is over. The money team is no longer a team. So at SMS Promotions, that's it. That's all. SMS Audio. SMS Audio by tweeting SMS equals Snakes Maneuver Slick and SMS equals Sisters Managing Sports. If anyone wants a money team jacket, I'm selling mine for a dollar. The Natback hat comes with it. That's a fair price. SMS Audio. I moved the fighters to SMS Promotion because the other half of the money team didn't put up their money. SMS Audio. After that, Floyd posted the following, accompanied with a picture where we can see 50 Cent's album sales getting worse and worse with every release. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. Wayne, Drake, Rick Ross, Kanye, please help this boy. He added, saying, A male boxing groupie, hold my belts because your album sales have declined. And 50 Cent responded, Money, Floyd, you know I have more money than you. Al Heyman got you on an allowance. You go broke every fight, stupid. SMS Audio. Just one day after the two engaged with one another on social media in this manner, 50 Cent revealed that the exchange was all a publicity stunt, albeit with a bit of sarcasm injected into his apology. I'm sick of all this nonsense. Floyd asked me to act like we were fighting because no one was paying any attention after his 60 days. Hashtag SMS Audio. Domestic violence is very serious. My apologies. My grandmother said, we need to stop playing. I'm done. Sorry. Hashtag SK. Buying a new Lamborghini and all these new things. And then and I'm sitting there going, yo, when you going to give me the money? Because you're already invested. Right, like when you give me your half of the money back. But I ain't trying to press him because he just got out of jail. We talking over two million? It, it's about that. Oh, okay. At that point, it was, you know, invested in. He acted like he didn't know anything. Like, ah, I didn't tell y'all to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. You can't be, you can't 
hang out with me every day for years, then all of a sudden, if I don't give you half of my company, now it's, oh, you're dumb and you're stupid and you can't do this and you can't do that. But if I can't do all these things, why are you hanging around me? During a February 2013 visit to ESPN's morning debate show, First Take, 50 Sin accused Floyd Mayweather Jr. of ducking Manny Pacquiao and avoiding a title bout with the number one contender. What you just said, that, that you know, he started jogging like he was it running. Did. When asked about how prison had affected Mayweather, 50 referred to Floyd's incarceration as a traumatic experience and expressed his curiosity of how it would affect him in the ring moving forward. What's next is even more interesting. 50 Cent warned Floyd Mayweather Jr. to stay away from T.I.'s wife. After getting involved in a beef with T.I. over his relationship with Tip's wife, Tiny, Floyd Mayweather Jr. was making headlines for all the wrong reasons, particularly for his interaction with Tiny on the BET Awards red carpet. And being a magnet for controversy, 50 Cent poked fun at the awkward moment and warned Mayweather in his Instagram post to stay away from Tiny. What the fuck is going on, man? Niggas tell me you down there at the Fat Burger fighting over Tiny. Now that's T.I. man. You gonna cause these niggas to buy more guns in Atlanta. No, no, I'm your brother. I'm gonna tell you like it is, champ. Your uppercut ain't gonna mean shit when niggas start shooting. What? Fuck. Man, why you keep going back to what she looked like? I wouldn't care if the motherfucker fell out of beauty patching. It's his man. No, no, you listen to me. You ain't never shot a motherfucker a day in your life. You're 150 pounds. You ain't no gangster. You's a boxer. Nigga. On top of all of that, Floyd's girlfriend, Miss Jackson, left him and got into a relationship with Nelly. After finding himself in a string of beefs with rappers, Floyd Mayweather Jr. decided to send shots at artists like Nelly, T.I., and 50 Cent, all of whom were at odds with the champ. I don't have anything to say about negative about any hip-hop artist. You know, a lot of times you see, like I said, a lot of these rap artists rap about certain things, but I really live it. Every home that I have is paid for. Every car that I have is paid for. And I am a and I am a hundred million dollar man. Well, God, I look at the computer. The computer say, Floyd said, fuck "Ti, fuck Nelly, fuck Fifty. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly, fuck your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance. Say fuck that nigga. This is a special A S L E L S challenge for you, Floyd. If you can read one full page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll give seven hundred fifty thousand to whatever charitable organization you want to." The bucket eyes, man. I had a phone call from my man Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy said if Floyd accepts the challenge, that he'll put it on the actual show. So you can read it on the show. We don't want to put pressure on you. We know you can't pronounce those words in that Harry Potter book, so we're gonna let you read Cat in the Hat. Floyd responded to such an offer in the following way. He uploaded a picture of two checks totaling over 72 million. Read this, God bless. This was a blatant reference to his immense wealth and a witty decline to 50's challenge. In the midst of 50 Cent and Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s war of words, XXL caught up with Fifth, who provided context to his relationship with Floyd. People think I get angry with Floyd. That's like my younger brother, 50 said, so he'll do things that I won't necessarily understand why he does it, but it'll agitate me and I'll do things in response. Continuing his smear campaign of Floyd Mayweather Jr. with memes and posts on Instagram, 50 Cent professed his love for his one-time comrade, but also offered to shoot the fair one if he felt so inclined. If you want to fight, I'll be in Vegas next week. Hashtag SMS audio. 50 wrote in a post, which also included 50's urging Floyd to get in touch with his family members. Then, on one of the radio shows, 50 Cent said that Floyd is the best fighter. However, the boxer can't kick his ass. Don't get it twisted at all. He's still the best fighter, 50 said. He won't kick my ass. I'm 220, B. I'm 220 right now. Many know that 50 Cent has a negative relationship with Marquise Jackson's son. Marquise used his father's beef with Floyd Mayweather Jr. as a way to throw shade, uploading a picture of himself posing with the champ and uploading it to Facebook with the caption, with Tank and Floyd, hashtag TMT. Later on, the guys reconciled and posted a picture together. The original money team. You gotta love it. My brother ready. May 2, don't get scared now. Hashtag free go. Hashtag effing vodka. Hashtag SMS audio. Said 50 Cent on Instagram. 50 Cent also bet 1.6 million on Floyd's victory over Manny Pacquiao. Generally speaking, 
the relationship between them was good for the time being. Things escalated again when Floyd booked Tierra Mari to perform at a strip club. The thing is that at the time, she was suing 50 because the rapper had leaked an 18 plus video online. 50 Cent questioned these actions on Instagram saying, somebody please tell me why Floyd would be doing this right now. I don't understand this one. After corresponding with Floyd through text, Fifth posted screenshots of the conversation where the two argue over alliances, with Floyd calling out 50 for being cool with Chantel Jackson, whom the boxer filed a lawsuit against. 50 captioned the post saying, Floyd on this bullshit again. He done fucked that money up. Now he mad about old shit. I'm not selling your cars back, champ. You are in word, get the strap. In another exposed set of texts, 50 again jokes about Mayweather's reading ability. Okay, Floyd, fuck you, man. You still mad because I said your ass can't read. LOL, but champ, you can't. You acting like a bitch right now. All in your feelings over some old shit. You made me f two million, and I ain't mad because I got it back. Get off the bullshit. On July 21st, 2018, Floyd Mayweather Jr. went on the offensive in his back and forth with 50 Cent posting an open letter disparaging his former friend on social media. Curtis, confidential informant Jackson, you're mad because your oldest son, Marquis' mother, don't want to be with you. Mayweather began in the post before speaking on Fifth's strained relationship with his son, writing, your son, your own flesh and blood, don't want nothing to do with you. You haven't had a hit song on radio in who knows when, and you're definitely not hot enough to even sell records anymore, so Interscope dropped you, Floyd continued. You are jealous of any rapper, athlete, or entertainer that's hot or got something going on for themselves. You are a certified snitch, and we got paperwork to prove it. After delivering a series of jabs at 50, which include claims that he lives in a New Jersey apartment with someone else because of his supposed financial problems and that he bit Ja Rule style, Floyd claimed that 50 has herpes and that he lied about the details of his famous Coca-Cola deal. Never one to back down, ever, 50 was quick to serve up a few responses. I must have hurt your feelings, champ. You had someone write a book. I'm going to take my time with this so I get it all out. We are going to start with your 11 domestic violence cases. Wait a minute. I'll do them in order. Remember, you asked for this. Get the strap. Hashtag Leche Menduroy. The rough patch continued further. At the beginning, Mayweather posted on Instagram saying, You're not supposed to be beefing with me. You're supposed to be beefing with my watch. Me and you are not on the same level. And then again, he called him a rat. Because of that, 50 took it too far. He accused Mayweather Jr. of sleeping with late rapper Earl Hayes' wife, Stephanie Mosley, leading to Hayes killing himself and Mosley, in case you're not familiar with Earl Hayes. Back in December of 2014, Hayes murdered his wife, hit the floor actress Stephanie Mosley in a domestic dispute before turning the gun on himself. The dispute was allegedly over a rumored affair Mosley was having with Trey Songs. According to reports, Mayweather was a witness to the murder suicide and attempted to talk Hayes off the edge during a FaceTime phone call, but was unsuccessful. 50 Cent brought back old memories when he posted a photo with Floyd, Earl, and Stephanie and wrote, He beat 50 men, 11 women, and caused two bodies. Keep calling me, and I'm going to show, champ. 50 followed that post with another post involving Earl and Stephanie, this time accusing the champ of sleeping with his best friend's wife and pinning it on Trey Songs. Floyd, you are the champ, but you a sucker at heart. You want it all. I know. I watched you do some foul shit to Riala, and he is your best friend. When he broke up with his girl Jessica, you kept her around, got her an apartment, bought her a car because you wanted to fuck her. Riala ain't sweated. She was keeping it, playa. Hayes just wasn't built like that. Tell everybody why you was on FaceTime when he killed Stephanie and himself, because he was confronting you about his wife. You was pumping all that Trey Song shit. Get the fuck out of here. You didn't give a fuck. You just went to watch the ball game. Wait, this should be get motherfuckers confused. You put up a check. That got wait. That must be for a blogger, nigga. You know I got money. You know I got money, nigga. Look, bitch. The check say Golden Boy. That mean you work for Oscar, bitch. Yeah, man, it is. It's right there, man. You gotta take a closer look at that, man. I'm looking there like that. Ooh wee. That's what 200000 look like on the, on the net, boy. On this, real news. In spite of all that, 50 said more than once 
that Floyd is like a younger brother to him, but nevertheless, he continued to troll his former friend. For example, when the boxer starred in a Nike ad, 50 posted saying, Champ must have done this one himself, LOL, in what was his latest jab at the boxer's lack of reading skills. In response, Mayweather uploaded an image of Fiff with text over the rapper's face reading, when I have a herpes flare up, my boyfriend always says, don't worry, get the strap. And later, when Floyd hinted that he is going to retire, 50 said, we been knew you finished that money champ, Fiff said in the clip. We can tell when you start doing club visits, but I will be tuned in in December. All work, easy work, let's go. Hard work, dedication, get the strap. Hashtag Leche Menderoy. Roughly a month after 50 Cent's last attack, Floyd Mayweather decided to clap back, comparing Fifth's failed business ventures with his rivals' more successful ones. Floyd captioned an Instagram post saying, Jay-Z been killing the champagne game with Ace of Spades, selling worldwide at premium prices for well over a decade, while Curtis got a bottle with a cheap chess piece on it that tastes like shampoo. Diddy got Ciroc and is still selling worldwide and you can't find effin' in no stores and it's well known the shit tastes like rubbing alcohol. 50 Cent responded with a post poking fun at the boxer's reading skills that's since been deleted, but followed up with a caption congratulating Mayweather on his accomplishments with a humorous twist at the end. Tell Floyd I said he won. He is the greatest of all time, Fifth wrote, and nobody, I mean nobody, can ever take that away from him. What he's done with his life is amazing. I'm done with all the back and forth. Now, can someone please read this to Champ? In the previous year, it became apparent that the guys had decided to put an end to their feud. 50 Cent tweeted this. Yeah, Champ said he gonna pull up on me for Tycoon, so you know we're gonna go crazy. Big bags coming out. TMT, Floyd Mayweather, boom. You and Floyd, Floyd back me? together? Y'all yeah, cool? I, seen, I went to see him when I was <clears throat> in Vegas. No, really? man. Oh, around my birthday. I wow. Look, he don't need me. I don't need him. Mm -hmm. I still, still, I call him chap when I'm talking about him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to take away the discipline and the work that he put in. The next video that I recommend you watch is why people were scared of Suge Knight. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you soon.